Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? I hope everybody's doing good. What's going down? Boy, Eisenhower's Tactical up in the building. Uh, back with a uh, video, man. Man, I just realized something, man. Uh, you see, I got this whole thing. I'm in home defense mode. I don't know when you guys don't get this video. Got this Glock 21. Went to the range and shot it today. Shot 50 rounds. Did good. I ain't got no video. It was felt good just to shoot without filming, but uh, ran good. But man, I was back with this video, and I was coming back to clean a clean one of those uh, AR pistols, and I just realized this 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 whole cleaning thing I got is a is a complete nightmare, dude. It's it's just all no no organization at all. So I was wondering somebody going can, can help me how do you keep this shit organized because i don't, i'm i kind of don't i have a work area but it's not really a work area and so i just got everything like piled up and then sitting on top of like a you know one of the um plastic tubs so to speak man but look, look at all this shit i got and i was wondering if anybody can you know gloves and um i mean i got rags you know cleaning rags i mean i I got these, you know, cleaning rags. Some of the stuff I never even use. Like, this is a boar snake. I use it probably once. You know, this works good, actually. I But I, I don't even remember the last time I used it. I think I cleaned my uh, AR one time. I think it's been used once. You can see it's got a little, and it has the little brush on the end. Works good, but I don't, it, they just seem like they don't never really get that dirty to, to get to this point, man. So I got that. And I got, well, I don't even know what's up in here. Here's another. This is old, too. This is one of those tips you can put on to clean. Just, it's just too much, man. I got four slider. Just all kind of random shit up in here. And then this is from the KSG. Those are the original follower, uh, followers. From the KSG, they came white, but when you look down that dark hole, you couldn't see them. So I got those high vis kind of red ones, and they they do work. And then this is to take off the nut to put that brake on. You got to have that, and then an impact tool. That's crazy, man. I got I got this just laying up in here. A lot of this stuff is from when I originally bought. These are QD attached for slings. Just random shit, man. You know, needle nose. Small tape measure. I don't know, man. It's just, it's just out of control. Here's a bore cider. Got that. I think this goes with this too. I think one's nine millimeter and one's five five six. I think. Oh, man, it's just so much stuff. And got Goni. I you know what? I bought this stuff. Gun butter and uh, this is gun butter and frog loop, and I don't even use it. Just, just laying there. Got that, and I got this, this tool. I mean, all this stuff is good. I just I don't know how to organize it. Armors wrench. If you're working on ARs, putting on, taking off the uh, castle nut and stuff, you got to have one of these. I got this just laying up in there. So I got to figure it out because otherwise, I'm going to buy like a little micro little tub and just throw everything in a tub. But if somebody got a cool system, let me know. You know, random patches, all this stuff you need, but. It just got to get better than this. And I got this mother's, you know, to polish up your uh, extractor and stuff like that. You know, safety plunger, whatever. I did I did a job one time, did a video. And then I got a, all kind of random tool. I got these Allens, the star bit Allens. You know, this this definitely stuff you need to have, though. You know, and I got the standard at, standard, and then I got millimeter. So I got millimeters. So I got, you know, you, you know, you just, these are good. I mean, I'm not complaining. But these are just basically, that's a torque set. I mean, these are good. I'm not saying I don't, you don't need this stuff. I'm just saying, how am I going to organize it? This is, I, I don't even think I even use this. This is like brand new, I think. Oh, no, it's been used. AR brush. Maybe, I don't know. It's, it's a lot of stuff. And then it, I, I do use the, uh, I don't use all of these oils, but I got, lube and hoppies and i mean i don't know just i just got this in the bag just laying like this a couple of a couple of screwdrivers 15 and ones you know i rock with client a lot and you know these these are the ones that you get two sets on each end 
you know, buy one, cry once when you buy Klein, but they last forever and plenty of options on their screwdrivers. A couple of screwdrivers. I got a headlamp. So when you're working on your stuff, a couple, I always got, I got a ton of these rags. Let me know if somebody needs some of these. I got more, another rag. That's, just like hell, just tons of rags. I got rags for days, and you got a little block to work on your uh, pistols and whatnot. Definitely, that stuff is all necessary. Little oil jug, man, it just keeps going. And then I got, I think this goes to one of my Glocks. A little nylon, a little brush, whatever. That goes to one of my Glocks for sure. Yeah, this goes to one of my Glocks. That definitely a Glock brush. Uh, this is definitely, I got oil laying on this shit. Holy cow. This is hella just out of control. Oh, it's a whole puddle of oil in that one. Uh, yeah. This is for taking out that base plate on your mags. If you guys, I don't know if you guys know that, but this is, this is a really handy tool. You should all, everybody should have this when you want, especially y'all in the free world, because y'all be doing plus three and all that stuff. So, you know, plus five. So what you do is you put that in, in that little hole, this little nipple right there. You, you, you insert that in there basically like this and then oh is it was it this yeah yeah it's that way and then you just basically it will catch it and that's how you pop out the uh the base plate it's a base plate tool yeah you, everybody should have one of them man it's, it's a lot of oil up in here i guess oh it's right here damn i must have spilt that little tub of oil look at that that was just from this little thing right here yeah it's all good ain't nothing wrong with oil yeah, just just a lot of random stuff, man. I, I don't. This is a re, re, absolutely out of control. A couple toothbrushes, you know, not for my teeth. You know, I got horrible teeth, but then I got another long screwdriver. So when you got to go into your grip or whatever you got to do, so you, you need to get somewhere deep. Damn, hell of stuff. Then I got uh, some Loctite thread locker. Make sure you always shape this before you use this. I got a lot of experience with you using Loctite. Make sure you shake that before you use it. Works a lot better that way. Moving right along, just some little micro 22 caliber patches. I got a lot of different caliber patches. I remember when I bought them. Uh, what's this? Hell no, this is what I've been looking for. This is the FU bag. I don't know if y'all know what this is. This is basically a AR-15 lost parts. So if you lose some parts, with them little in those parts, and that's what this is. And so you always have like a lot of parts laying around. Shout out to Dress Kill Tay. He, yeah, man, have your have some backup parts. So I'm gonna put that over there because that, that needs to be in a different area. And then just random Allen wrenches and stuff, like kind of like a range bag. Look at all them damn Allens from when you buy optics and stuff. How they be sending you all those Allens and little screwdrivers and just tons of little screwdrivers and Allens and stuff. Man, I feel like I should be doing a giveaway with some of this stuff because I don't even think I even be using it. Uh, this is another important tool. This is for cleaning your your uh, AR-15, your bulk carrier group. That scraper in there get a lot of that soot that builds up. But I'm not in the military, and I haven't gotten to the point. Whenever I use it, it's just like it's a waste of time because nothing really. It's not that serious, you know. You know, so just just going through this. This is an old ass CLP bottle, just empty. Still a little drop in there. I'm gonna I'm keep that. I'm, I'm cheap. I will definitely use that drop. Um, what's this? Oh, this is another cleaning cleaning rod. Attach some shit to the end of it. It was another brush for it's like a rifle bore, and you can attach this to stuff. And you know this long handle. Who is this by? Um, let's see, Southbury, Connecticut, Dewey. We've been around for a while. Um, what else up in here? Oh, this is the nut you break. Oh, this is for the KSG to take off those, to get into the tubes. You got to put that on there and then crack that nut on the end of the KSG tube. Anyone got one knows what I'm talking about. It's a personal thing. Uh, what's this tool? Oh, this is very important too. This is for, for your pistols, putting on your front sight, a little magnet on that tip. And then when you take your slide apart, uh, that that'll stick to that screw go ahead and focus and uh you can take that that screw off that front sight and it has a bunch of other little tools in here i believe i, I remember i bought this from the glock store yeah see they have a 
a couple more bits so you can turn into a screwdriver if you want to or whatever. Yeah, this is definitely a very important tool right here. I think this is $12. So definitely get you one of these. Um, another long screwdriver. Never going to have too many long screwdrivers when you own guns and stuff. And what's this? Uh, just a what do you call it? razor and there's a poker or whatever. So yeah, man, that's that's what I always saw this. All oh, these are snap caps. Uh, just just every just like you guys know, anybody don't know, snap caps come in every uh, caliber. Uh, I think this is ten mil. Yeah, that's ten mil. Forty five ACP. Um, just forty five two uh, five five six two two three. So you got your snap caps in five, five, six, two, three. This is three oh eight, seven by seven six two. Then it's shotgun. So they, they come in every year, and of course nine millimeter and forty. And uh they come in twenty two too. And I bought these and I don't think I ever used them. Nope, I never used them. Twenty two snap caps. So that's the dilemma I got, man. I was going through this. This is a nightmare, and now I just took it all apart and probably what's gonna happen and it's a good stand on. Then this this is the first one I ever bought. Mine it's called the, the, the Gun Butler. If anybody interested, this is dirt cheap. These were it's got a little handle so you can pick it up, you know, when it's balanced with weight, obviously it wouldn't flop like that. But yeah, this is the gun butler. It's one of the cheap versions. They got a bunch of models, but this one seemed to have worked fine for me. Little cups, and then this is how you could sit your uh long gun up or whatever, your your rifle. I just happened to have my KSG sitting right here, and so that's how that could look if you uh you can set your gun up right there like that. So that's how that looks. So man, yeah, you could uh definitely do a lot with the gun butler, but more importantly, man, I need to clean this mess up. I just want to let you guys see, man. Uh, you guys got a good organizational system. Uh, something to keep your stuff like kind of organized, you know, and clean. I know you probably got a work area, so a lot of this stuff's probably just laying out on like a workbench, but my setup ain't quite like that. Yeah, one day it will be, but otherwise, I'm just gonna throw it all in the tub. <laughs> but I just want to let you guys see my cleaning setup and what it ain't a setup, my cleaning pile. And uh, just let me know what you guys' clean setup is or what you guys, how you guys do it. Uh, what, what, how do you keep yourself organized? Or if you got a workbench, just you know, just drop a few comments in there, man. It's your boy uh, Eisner Tactical, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, cleaning and tools and things of that nature. It uh, it matters, man. We should, so let me know what you guys do, man. Until the next video, man. Everybody stay blessed. Peace.